All this heat has put record demand on Texas power grid, and now the federal government is proposing an offshore wind farm that could power 2.3 million homes. It would be near Galveston and be bigger than the entire city of Houston. Nick Dottario reports. Something new may soon be found near Galveston's coast. This week, the federal government announced it wants to create an offshore wind farm large enough to power 2.3 million homes. Considering all the, the uh, emails we're getting from our energy providers saying that we need to conserve energy, maybe this will be beneficial. In order to create that much power, the wind farm would need a lot of space. The proposal uses an area bigger than the city of Houston. Ooh, that's pretty big. Uh, I, 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 re I really don't know what to say about that. That's just massive. It's a project energy experts have been waiting to see come to the Gulf. It's long past time that we got started, uh, you know, in the offshore wind anywhere in the United States, really. Rice it's University's Jim energy Crane fellow Jim Crane says turbines create a lot of renewable energy. And unlike current wind farms, the Gulf may provide more power. From what I understand about the you know, offshore wind, is it, it's, it's, it's better uh, in, in late afternoons and high demand periods, uh, you know, when, when our, our wind in West Texas doesn't blow so well. The turbines wouldn't be next to the beach. They'd be 14 nautical miles away. The federal government says it spends 30 million a year studying the impact of offshore projects. It says before construction, it'll work with Gulf fishermen and explore what other environmental impacts turbines would create. A new power source, Houstonians hope, will ease issues with the state's grid. I wouldn't say that it would fix it right away, but I, I mean, I would, I would definitely maybe take some of the load off of it and, and benefit the grid somehow. And the offshore wind farm would blow in more than power to Texas. The White House estimates the projects will create 80,000 jobs by 2030. So, Marielle, not only do those wind farms create energy, but it looks like also they're just like a big fan. You just want to stand in front of it, especially <laughs> as hot as it's been. Just I fan know. You. And whenever you're like, whenever you're sitting on the beach, you know, you get that that sea breeze. Mm -hmm. So maybe it'll feel like it's the fan, so you're blowing it in. A cool breeze. Something. That's just Please. so valuable right now. <laughs>